good afternoon. This is Pastor Carl with St. Peter's United Methodist Church uh, with a weekly update for Friday, July the 16th, 2021. This has been a great, great week at the church. We've had vacation Bible school here all week. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of children here. There's been a lot of learning that has happened. And uh, yes, if you've heard the rumors, they are true. Uh, your pastor did kiss a goat this week uh, for the children. Um, and I hope that maybe maybe that was a memory that they're always going to carry with them that one day they'll take their children to VBS in 20 years and they'll say hey you know it was this time I went to vacation Bible school and the preacher kissed a goat but you know what's important is that they learned a lot this week and we're glad that uh, they did we're glad that they were here we're grateful for all of those who helped to make Vacation Bible School a um, big success this week. I want to invite you to come worship with us this coming Sunday. Uh, we have two services, 8.30 and 11 o'clock. Traditional services at 8.30, 11 o'clock is a blended service. And at the 11 o'clock service this week, we will have um, our church choir is going to be singing together for the first time since before COVID. So we're looking forward to that. And speaking of singing, uh, coming up on the 24th of this month, which is a week from tomorrow, um, we are going to be having Eric Horner here at the church in concert on Saturday, the 24th at 6 p.m. We hope you'll make plans to come for that. It's going to be a great night of uh, Christian testimony and Christian witness and, and music and song, and it's going to be a great, great night. We hope you'll come for that. Um, I want to talk for just a minute about the whole purpose of of why we are a church. Why are we St. Peter's Church? What's what's the whole purpose in us inviting people to church and doing things together as a church? Well, let me read for you, uh, first of all, um, a passage of scripture. This comes from Matthew chapter 28, beginning with verse 16. It says, then the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. The last thing that Jesus said to the disciples as he ascended was, go and make disciples. Go and create um, opportunities for people to follow me. Um, go and um, in your following me, teach others about me so that they will follow me. Um, as you follow me, share my love with others. Um, feed those who are hungry. Reach out to those who are hurting. Uh, lift up those who have fallen. That's all part of what making disciples is. It's being followers of Jesus and bringing others into the fold where they can follow Jesus as well. I want to read, with, read for you just a moment our mission statement here for St. Peter's United Methodist Church. This is why we exist as a church. And you'll find this, we have this printed every week in our bulletin. It's on our website. Uh, it's in our newsletter. Here's our mission statement. St. Peter's United Methodist Church exists to offer the love of God through Jesus Christ by inviting others with us to believe in Christ, to grow in Christ, and to serve Christ. That is the reason this church exists, so that we can do those kind of things. And here now, these words, this is our vision statement. The vision of St. Peter's United Methodist Church is to witness to the kingdom of God by guiding unbelievers toward Jesus Christ, 
nurturing believers to grow in grace and to become faithful members of Christ's body of the church and equipping church members to achieve joyful discipleship in our Lord. So we as a church have a mission statement. We have a vision statement. Over the next couple of weeks on these uh, little Friday afternoon updates, I'm going to be talking about those things, talking about our mission statement, um, talking about our vision statement, helping you to understand um, what these call us to do and what we are doing as individuals in a church to fulfill our mission statement and our vision statement. So I hope that you'll um, be sure to tune in again next week, um, and we'll talk about our mission statement next week. Week after that, we'll talk about the vision statement. But it's important that we know why we're here, what we're about, and what we're called to do. I hope to see you Sunday morning here at church. And until then, know that I am praying for you.